Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone IX here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do Elder Guardian Disguise commands in Minecraft. Now the previous one we did was the Guardian Disguise command, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Link will be in the description down below after you finish watching this video. So I kind of said in that video that I would make one for the Elder Guardian as well, and well here we are. So for the Elder Guardian, it doesn't really have anything different than the normal guardian except if you get too close it's gonna give you mining fatigue for like a long period of time so but before i go into more detail on what the elder guardian disguise helmet gives you guys you know the drill make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video apart from that guys let us start today's video okay guys so here are the commands right here so Almost mostly the same commands as like from the Guardian ones, except I added a couple of things here. And don't worry guys, I will leave a link in the description for you guys so you can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let's begin. So first off, I'm going to demonstrate how it works. As always, for those of you who have... Hold on, let me uh, turn this off and then turn it on again, okay. For those of you who have never seen this type of video of mine before, here's how... It works, so... Let me spawn in at least a couple of the Guardians there. And I already have a guard, an Elder Guardian down there. So let's spawn in a couple of these. So it's gonna work the same way as like the last Disguise video. If you guys have seen that one. So let's say for example, I'm gonna be attacked by a bunch of these uh, Guardian creatures right here. Or get hit by a Mining Fatigue thing like that. So watch what happens when I put on the helmet. They stop attacking me. And I'm just going to quickly get rid of the mining fatigue. And now you got two things. The Guardian Laser, which was from the last video I did. And also the Guardian Minion Spawn Egg. It's always like, why not make it so that you can summon your own minions? At least just to make it slightly more different than the Elder Guardian right here. So, so again, the Guardian Laser... Gives you the ability to shoot out your own, like, guardian, like, laser at certain mobs. Or in this case, even sea guardians. But again, this can be used with any mob you wish. The thing is, it can only limit you to just one at a time. And as for the guardian minion spawn egg, well, you can basically summon your own reinforcements of sea guardians. To aid at your side in battle. And also the other thing is I gave it so that uh, the Elder Guardian helmet gives you, or at least creates a Mining Fatigue Aura. Which means anyone getting too close to you is going to be hit with Mining Fatigue. It doesn't happen to me, well, the Elder Guardian hit me with Mining Fatigue because, well, I kind of attacked it before I had the helmet on. But, but the helmet is supposed to give Mining Fatigue to all others that come near me, so I guess you will take my word for it. And as always, when you take the helmet off, your guardian minions will disappear and the sea guardian should start attacking me again. I think they're way too deep to notice. Well, except for that one. So yeah, that's pretty much how the disguise helmet works. So let me again clear the effects and let's see the commands. Okay, so here's the first one. And all of them are in green, so that means I've done these commands before in the past. Some very recently. Okay, for the first one, you guys probably have seen this sort of thing before, so it's when the player head Elder Guardian Disguise Helmet is selected, it's going to run effect Conduit Power 3, with no particle effects. Okay, now here's the one with the creating the Mining Fatigue Aura, so here's how it works. So the first bit is the same, so when the helmet is selected, it's going to run this. Execute at P run effect give at E bracket name equals exclamation mark redstone X. So you can put your own username in here. So that way it would hit other players but yourself and also other mobs. And we got distance 0 dot dot 8 bracket. And then with mining fatigue 3. So that's that command. This one gives you the Guardian Laser, aka the Karen on a Stick. This one here creates a team called Elder underscore Guardian. This one here gives you the Guardian Minion Spawn Egg here. 
this one get rid gets rid of that that special egg when the helmet is off. This one here makes all elder well sorry makes all guardians and elder guardians join that team. So that's for guardians. This one's for elder guardians, like so. This one makes you join that team. This one here removes that the guardian laser when the helmet is off. This one here removes the team called Elder Underscore Guardian when the helmet is removed from you. And commands 12 through 20 control the guardian laser as you probably saw if you watched the guardian disguise command video from last time. But I will still explain. So again, the first bit is to say when the player head Elder, Elder Guardian disguise helmet is selected is going to run this. Run scoreboard objectives add carrot minecraft.use colon minecraft.carrot on a stick. So that's the first bit. This command right here removes the scoreboard when the helmet is off. This command right here activates the scoreboard, so it's execute if at sorry execute if entity at all bracket mbt equals selected item. So basically means with the special named carrot on a stick, guardian laser selected is gonna run scoreboard player set at e bracket scores equals squiggly bracket carrot equals one dot dot close both brackets carrot zero. And now these four, or sorry, these five right here control like the particle effect. So if you guys have seen the last video, you would know. For, but for those who haven't, let me explain. So it's execute as at all at as anchored eyes run particle Minecraft colon dolphin up arrow up arrow up arrow one and then three zeros zero dot zero one fifty and then you put fours right here. And this is, oh, and also make sure command blocks are set to conditional and always active at all times. This is for two blocks ahead, three blocks, four blocks, and then five blocks. Now here's the part that controls the damaging part of the laser. So again, same, sort of the same first bit right here, if you saw my uh, last video. So basically means when you look at a certain mob in a certain radius, it's going to run effect give at E type equals not players sort equals nearest comma limit equals one, which means that the nearest and also limits you to one mob at a time. And then wither for one second and wither 20 and then true. So that's for the laser part. And then these last three just control like the the guardian minion spawn egg right here, or at least two of them do. So this is the first part of the that process. So when the egg is selected, it's going to run this command, which is going to summon an area effect duration two seconds tag with uh, Bob underscore spawner. And then this one summons the custom named Guardian right here. And then this last one just simply kills the Guardian named Guardian Minions when the helmet is off. And yep, that is pretty much Elder Guardian Disguise Commands in Minecraft. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!